In this video, I'm going to be sectioning off the tooth 1-1 one, one, and joining it to an implant. So let's go for it. So in the Wax Up module, we're going to select this model and cut it off the tooth. So the first thing, we're going to make a duplicate model and then this one I can hide and we're going to draw the gum line and then using the E key to extrude all the way around the tissue line and then joining it up marking the gum line and then doing the contact let's do the same on the other side section the tooth and cut it off then I'm left with a the tooth has been trimmed away and we've got a ditched model underneath it here we go so let's bring in our implant so I'm doing this without a diacom because it's a hypothetical example only so I'm going to bring in a, a cylindrical implant rotate it view it from the the bottom up using the G key and the R key something like that initial placement let's bring this down oh, I may want to swap this for a tapered implant rather so put implant there we go and sink it down in cross section of course we'd use the diacom but for this example we'll leave that out let's unhide everything and see where this okay we're going to leave it at there yep yeah, we'll leave it like this and then it's just so that we can join the two up Next, of course, we want to make a sleeve. So we're going to, to go into the guide module, delete the zones, and then we're going to start. Let's set our drill diameter. Let's so hypothetically, we're going to set it. And then we're going to, to select our offset. We can view the drill if we want to it goes through over there like this or we can set our our offset up or down so let's set this to nine millimeters there so this works in increments as you can see up not by 0.5 millimeters up or down let's set that down to nine millimeters and then we're going to make our clearance for this apply that and then we can make this longer or shorter if we want to we're going to leave it exactly the way it is we can actually now if we want to scale it by the y-axis even you know that can help us with our our guide for example because then we can attach it straight on over there I'm going to trim a hole into that so there we go okay next thing I want to do is I want to make my implant tooth so let's hide everything this model we don't I don't need to view this at the moment okay so We've got our tooth over here. In the wax up mod module, we can get rid of, we need an open tooth. Okay, so we're going to go back to the wax up, to the pontex, and we're going to open this tooth up like that. And then we are able to join it 
to our abutment, but we don't have an abutment in yet. Let's grab an abutment. So in the components module, I'm going to be looking for, say, a Medentica abutment. Let's get a Strauman implant, 4.8, and append this into the scene. And then we're going to link all the components together in transparent mode. Something like that. And then we're going to snap this to our implant. This becomes our destination. And this one we're going to match its position. Then we're going to join the two up. So I'm going to take this one. Note how this is a little bit too perpendicular for my liking. So what I'm going to do is we're going to change that. So I'm going to name this my fixture. And we're going to edit this margin. Now we can pull this up a little bit, but ideally we just need to pull it up over here a little bit. So I'm going to use a G key and move this up just slightly like that. That should do the trick. And then we're going to select this one and we're going to make our collar. There we go. So that's joined up and we want to, of course, smooth it a little bit. So we're going to create our, we're going to select our abutment group and we're going to then make a mask and we'll smooth this tooth down a little bit. We could have hidden the yellow sleeve, but let's just continue. I do want to have a screw retained implant. So we're going to be focusing on that. Exit this one. And in edit mode, we can see we've got a beautiful mesh. Let's make a hole going through this tooth. So with it being selected, we're going to cut a hole straight through there. There we go. So this is our implant tooth. Let's hide this. Perfect. Let's have a look. Yes, 100%. Okay, let's make a guide that goes through there. Hmm? So that's looking good. So all of these components I can hide. Let's, let's create a folder, hidden. I'll just type hidden. And we're going to throw all the stuff. It's just object management. That's our hidden folder. I'm going to, this one looks a bit like a TV screen, so you just toggle that off and then you won't be able to see that anymore. So this one, we're going to throw into the hidden as well, move into the hidden folder and then let us make our guide, but we need a blocked out model to make our guide. So let's do that. So I'm going to select that, that becomes my upper model. We're going to create an offset, leave it at 0 0.2. We're going to create this offset model and then block out the undercuts. Let's survey the upper. Get a good path of insertion. Create our passive model. Finish this model, unhide things. This offset model I don't need, I'm going to delete that. This is the one that I want to keep. Note how all the undercuts have been blocked out. So we're going to be making a tube. So that becomes my target model. And notice if we set it exactly over here, it's going to be standing away from our actual 
teeth we don't we don't want it to stand we need a bit of contact as well So here I've got a proposed design and we're going to then remesh this tube and we're going to maybe make it a bit finer and accept it. That's looking good. So let us finish this now. We will view our hole cutters and actually we don't need to do anything there because everything has been cleared. Let's view our guide cutter. So our guide cutter, we will scale this a little bit like that, make sure we get rid of all of the intersections and we will then cut a hole into it. Like that. And finally what we're going to do is we're going to, to make a, the fitting surface. Let's hide everything. This is our implant guide. And let us view our crown. This is our crown. 